Today I'm going to talk about the time I taught myself to paramotor, probably one of the scariest things I've ever done, uh, mostly because I just had no experience paragliding, no experience obviously paramotoring, and I just bought all of the equipment and went for it. Um, looking back on this experience, it is so stupid and I don't think anybody should do this. You should definitely get the proper training, but at the time, I guess it made sense to do. The story from start to finish is that I've always had interest in flight. I still do to this day. It's one of my passions. I have done a lot of skydiving and I've always been intrigued by paragliding and paramotoring, but I never really got into it or learned anything about it. One thing led to another and I took some lessons, uh, paragliding and the person that was teaching me those lessons had a paramotor and I was like oh man I want I want in I want to get involved and he's like well I'm selling this you know maybe someday and I was like I'll buy it right now <laughs> and so I bought all of his gear right there on the spot had no idea how to use it no experience whatsoever he gave me probably two lessons or three lessons and I being me like to progress and kind of do things at my own pace and you know he was being very professional and very structured of like, no, this is what we're gonna learn first, this is what we're gonna learn next, and you're gonna kind of proceed in a progressive way. And I'm like, no, no, like, so I pay, you know, paid him for, for instruction. At some point, I was like, I'm gonna take this into my own hands, which is a horrible idea. Uh, he was just looking to protect me and uh, make me learn the proper way. We got all the paramotor gear lined out. I honestly don't know much about it. I got the, got the motor, got the propeller. Here in a second, I gotta strap this big old propeller to this. I gotta strap this on, which is like the reserve parachute. I'm a skydiver and I, did, I didn't know that you can't even cut away the main parachute if you even wanted to. My son's first day of school. Yeah. <laughs> Some friends come over and we're trying to lay all of this out, trying to figure out how is this gonna work? Uh, how does it even work? If he wasn't Trevor, I would say don't do it. The first time we got everything laid out, figured out, you know, if you're a paramotor or paraglider, uh, that, okay, I need to hold the A's, which are the front lines that are gonna bring the canopy up. And so I started figuring out little things, but literally we're just in this empty open field. Uh, do it. Wish me luck. I love you guys, mom, dad. <laughs> I think I'll be all right, but I'm sorry if I'm not. So the first few times I was trying to pull up the wing and I was running, but when I was running, I was like bent over. And so I would pull the throttle or hold the throttle down and it was really just driving me into the ground. Um, and that wasn't working at all. At the same time, it was probably a hundred degrees outside and you know, the density altitude was just no bueno. And so it was, the whole thing was a mess and it was getting really frustrating. So then uh, my friends had taken off, they were on a road trip, so I was all alone trying to figure out what am I gonna do, why is this not working? So my plan was later that night when the temperatures calm down, I'm gonna go out, the wind should be calm, and I'm just gonna give it another go. And I was by myself at this point, so I had no one to film, no one, anything, but I was so adamant and wanting to figure this out that I was determined. I'm gonna start getting all this set up and I'm just gonna like go for it that way. Hopefully not hit a donkey. Okay, so I got the canopy laid out as best as I possibly can. I'm just gonna put my helmet on. <sighs> okay guys, I'm going for this. Um, hopefully it, hopefully I can take off. I'm feeling co more confident this time. Oh boy, okay, so we got the uh, paramotor lined up. We're gonna leave you guys there. I'm gonna try to get the rest with my GoPro. Hopefully we'll see you in the air. My neighbor drives home and he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I'm like, look, this is, and he'd never seen a paramotor in his life. And he's like, wait, so that's like a helicopter? Like, huh, what is this thing? And he thought it was really funny because he'd never seen anything like that in his life. I just tried it once and I, it's not working. I'm doing something wrong. How is that supposed to work? <laughs> it's like a <laughs> propeller with a seat on it. Yeah, exactly. Like, what do you, how do you, how do you take off? <laughs> and then how do you land? Yeah, it's kind of like what I'm trying to figure out too. YouTube um, doesn't have any videos. It does, it does, <laughs> but like I, I like I can't figure it out. I've been trying to figure it out all day. And so I explain it to him. I explain what I'm trying to do. I'm like, here, hold the camera. He filmed the second one, and that time I was determined. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna lay this thing out perfectly. Like this is my shot. Gets dropped in, and he's sitting there like, 
what are you doing? You know, has no idea what, it, what he's about to see because he's never seen a paramotor before or understands anything about it. Yeah, I honestly don't know what I'm doing, but like, I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, so you had to put that on and stand up? Yeah. And like run? Oh yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, dude, it's <laughs> Nuh-uh. Yeah. And it has electric start and everything? Or? No, I gotta pull it myself from the back. What the hell? You don't want me to like run with you and give you motivation? I mean. Maybe if you had some like better shoes on. But you're supposed to land with a hundred and something pounds on your back. Yeah, I'm so glad I stopped by. Dude. <laughs> I didn't know you were actually gonna do it. <laughs> I have, you know, not that far of a runway. Uh, there's trees, if you can see in the back bank, there's a ton of trees at the end of the property and you have to clear those trees or you're gonna run right into them. Okay, wish me luck. All right, good luck. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. So I'm full throttle, going for it, and then I feel the lift start to pick me up off the ground. I'm like, it's working, it's working. I forgot to strap the GoPro to my head and I remembered I had the GoPro in my pocket. So I'm up in the air and I pull my GoPro out of my pocket. okay, I've never even landed one of these before. I have no idea what I'm doing. It basically just felt like a super floaty skydive canopy. And so I'm like, okay, I don't have very much room to land. So I'm gonna have to kind of just gauge it uh, super early because I don't want to overshoot. So I came just over the tops of these trees, just over the, this barn. <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> smooth, dude. smooth, dude. I thought I was gonna come in and eat crab. Oh no, my Tom. gosh, I can't believe that just happened. It was honestly one of the most special experiences of my life, just because it was, it was so sketchy and it worked. Yes, killer. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. I am so freaking happy right now. I was so scared. First time. First time. First time. First time. <laughs> Never had any experience with this at all. And I was so, oh, I got up there and I was just like, I can't believe this is happening. I pulled out the GoPro and uh, I filmed for a second. It started getting all shaky and it sounded like something was getting close to the prop. I was like, yeah, not happening. I put it back away. That's all cool up there, but wait till he has to come land. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> so scared to land, but it ended up working out perfect. I tried to time it so I'd come in real early. I wasn't about to overshoot it. Yeah. And nice. Thank you guys. You're welcome. It not would have been possible without I, you coming by. I was glad but that you did it. I was so out, stoked was when so you just, perfect. you were just running and then it just happened. Dude. It was so cool. I felt it and I was like, oh, it's right now or nothing. Like I gotta go right now or, and I just full floored. And next thing I'm like coming at the tree and I was like, go. Oh, then I went over the tree. <laughs> ah! I'm Brad. That's my wife. <laughs> That's Amber. <laughs> she just here to uh, pick up our dog and then saw Trevor with a helicopter strapped to his back. <laughs> so, so, it's always good fun. Uh, this is like you one of the best it, days of my life. It. This is an exciting moment. It's like, it's like you dream of flying and like skydiving is great but it happens so quick. This is like you just off and you're, you're just flying around. <laughs> After that, I did six total paramotor flights. All of my flights were from that exact same spot. The sixth flight, uh, I wasn't getting off the ground. 
And then I was in this moment of um, decision where I could either have just stopped and probably run into a barbed wire fence or I could fully commit, keep the throttle pinned and probably just make it over the tops of these trees. I was like, okay, you're gonna just commit. And so I'm full throttle, headed for the trees. I'm not gonna make it. And so I remember turning to kind of go up this valley to give myself a little bit more time, maybe a half a second before I was gonna hit the trees. This gust of wind hits me and I go probably 200 feet up in the air from where I was in like half a second. So this lift just takes me so high above the trees and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And that moment I was basically crying, just saying if I live and I make it on the ground, I am selling this thing immediately. This is the most scary, terrifying thing I've ever done. Forget this, this is sketch. And um, I landed, I, made, I ended up making it. Oh man, just even talking about this is so terrifying. Like bringing myself back to that gives me anxiety. So I land and I'm like, oh, you're fine. Like, you know, give it another shot. You've, you've really put so much time and energy into this. Like give it, give it some thought uh, and, and just think on it. So I'm like, okay, give yourself another chance. So the next day I go out, it's gonna be my seventh paramotor flight. I'm running through the field and I trip. I'm going full speed, trying to take off. I trip, go face first into the mud. The propeller's driving me into the ground. I am literally being pinned by this propeller. Those things have killed people, taken limbs off, like no joke. And so luckily, as soon as I saw I was falling down, I hit the, the kill switch. I got really lucky there. All the lines were all tangled in the motor. It was, it was a mess. But at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm done. Like, just forget this. Now that I have more paragliding experience, I would definitely consider paramotoring again, uh, just because I understand it more. But to just go for it like that with no experience, no training, completely just literally winging it uh, is a horrible idea and I would not do that again. And I do not recommend it. It was a crazy experience. I'm happy I'm here to share it with you and uh, I hope you enjoyed this story. So thanks so much for listening. Much love. We'll talk to you next time.